What's cracking, eggheads? My name's God, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Previously, I ended up finally getting on this train, and then there was like a lot of shit going on, and there's like a mystery about who the hell's gonna bomb the train, and then, uh, oh shit. I was supposed to do something for the girl, like, I went, this boy, uh, little boy, bomb mom, wanted a celebrity autograph, so I got to the celebrity, he want he refuses to sign autographs unless it's for girls because he's a fucking man whore. And then I went to this girl, and then she's saying something about I forgot what it was. Earrings. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. Ha. Huh. Where would I find the earrings exactly? That is the question. Uh, I might have to backtrack here and maybe over here. Possibly. That's a possibility. Yo, sir. The thing that young Master Bub wants most, well, let us to do, shall we? Why, it is rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Because that, my friends, is what young children his age crave all about. I don't have a Game Boy Advance. He wants a signature. Uh, and unfortunately, I Luigi's not with me, To Hello. I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh, well, I'll just order them. Okay, well, it's a good thing that this guy's innocent. I would have been driven insane if I had to do another freaking little side quest on this damn train. Hmm. I can't go to the front of the train, unfortunately. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Yep. That's right. But where would the shell earrings be? Do I have to hit something? Blow something? I don't know. I mean, blow on something, not blow something. But seriously, where the hell are the earrings? Yo, fat ass, did you happen to eat any earrings? Do I need to smack the earrings out of you? Sorry for causing all the commotion, but man, that soup was. Uh, la, 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 la. Just food magazine, no earrings. Can I make some earrings out of the lamp or something? That could work, I guess. No, it won't. She wants shell earrings. Shell earrings that are apparently somehow hidden over here. So with that in mind, do you have the earrings? Well, hello there, you fine specimen of a man. You're marvelous, dear. You solved, you solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yeah, it's very well done. You're so regularly smart. Perhaps you can help me with something as well. Fucking A! Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen, Will, I'm looking for a gold. Oh, what the? What's up with people losing their jewelry? Uh, could you please hasten to search for along, along for me, you bull? Oh, I hate my life. Where am I gonna find the ring now? I don't know. I don't know. This game is stressing me out with all these things I need to do. It's like multitasking. Ah. Uh, what does that little pumpkin? Uh, well, I'm sure I autograph. Oh man, don't they all? I can't do it. Unfortunately, I only sign for checks. You fucking shitbag. You fucking shitbag. I'm done. Running this train during the sunset is a high point of every day for me, so let's all hear for the Excess Express. Hurrah! This is the train's operation console. There are many small. Okay, well, that's not gonna help me either. I wanna die. I already wanna die. I can hear everything that fans find. Uh, one thing I heard was cute that boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> hey, you don't think Bob might want something from someone he admires, do you? Well, you better find it, whatever it is soon. He wants it from the train guy? Give me the autograph. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Wait a second. The conductor is at the right side, right? Or the... I think so? You know, let's just go all the way back over there. Who knows? It may actually be what I needed to do this whole time. After speaking to the left side, you gotta go all the way to the right, get the autograph, hopefully. Go to Bomb Mom, he might have the ring, or the earrings, give the earrings to the girl, or the ring, and then they'll give you, like, their personal golden ring or shell earrings, and then you give that to them, and then everything gets figured out, and then something happens? I'm hoping that's true. Hey, can I have an autograph? You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for the little bub. Well, yes, of course, here you are, sir. Yes! I'm progressing! I'm learning! You got an autograph. Gosh, I've never given out that autograph before. That feels fantastic. Well, you're welcome. Time to give it to the little shit bag for his little stupid birthday. Yay! Hello, little shit bag. Here is your stupid autograph. 
Would you look at that? Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something. Uh, a shine sprite. Thanks for the autograph. Take Wait a second. That's not what I was supposed to do. What the hell? Oh, everything changed. Okay. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you can look for the unsignated passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. That is so stupid. Honestly, great. Thanks. Well, I have to keep watch. So, we've got a stowaway that now I must find. Where the hell is he? I don't know. I don't recall there being any hidden door here. But it's nighttime, so that might reveal something. I think it's time for me to think rationally about this, honestly. The only... Which room was it? I think it was this one. The one that was empty? Maybe it's this one? Is there anything in here? Is this where the stowaway is by any chance? Nope, it's, it's just empty. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to ask every single person again what to do. Yo, I heard some noises in the room next door to a, li a little while ago, weird ones. But when I w looked in there, it was empty. I was like, oh, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that room for me? Okay, I guess I gotta go back there again. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't really see anything in here. Smack. 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 In here? There's nothing in here. Smack! Wake up, ghosty. Or stowaway. I don't even... Ugh, come on. Wait, what am I doing? This is a passenger car. I don't freaking know what to do. Smash, smash. Anything in here? Nope. Huh. Wait a second. Maybe she can help me. Hey, can you blow this? Nope, there's nothing in here. That is just really strange. I am very confused about what I'm supposed to do here, honestly. The guy, we walk in here, it's empty. The guy walks in here, it's empty. He hears noises, so there's gotta be someone in here. Is there anyone in my party that can help with this? She just doesn't say anything. Coops can't do anything. She doesn't blow anything, That or there's something that's blowable in there. Besides my dick. And then... Will this work? Maybe there's something's hiding. Oh, hello! There is something! Reveal yourself! So you found me! Well, as you see, I am a goose! Ooh, I'm cursed to haunt this place! A blanket? Well, yes, a conductor, they live one here! He didn't realize that I'm a ghost! A yummy sticky tree threat? No, I love those such I can even hold my physical objects like a pen and paper. Well, you just want the blanket then? Well, if you tell, well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Oh my! All I need is your. Oh. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin. Oh. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days, and my fear that someone would find and read it kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so you, can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Well, now I gotta. And don't you even dare read my diary, because if you do, ooh, a horrible fate awaits you. I ought to read the diary now. Well, I literally just scoped out the whole entire area, and there was no diary in sight. So, with that in mind, I might need to actually... He said it was in one of the box cars, but... Conductor over there. What the hell is this guy guarding? If the conductor's over there, what the hell? Did you find it? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go in. You don't say no to ghosts. You bet you don't. Oh, so the diary's going to be hidden in here, huh? But where? Maybe it's going to be behind all these big-ass crates. Yep, it's probably most likely going to be right here. There is the diary. Anything else? Or is that it? Oh, that's it. You know, I really want to read the diary, but first I should probably actually save the game. That might be a good idea. So let us save the... Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. Okay, thank you. 
So now that we found the diary, I'm tempted to read it. But before I do, I really do feel I should probably save. Because the guy said that I will die if I read it. Let's just see if that's true or if it's just an empty threat. It's probably just going to be some, like, stupid, um... It's probably just going to be some stupid thing that's in the book. That he doesn't want anyone to find out. So there we are. Save the game. Gear. It's going to be important things. Ragged Diary. Read the diary. Oh, sure. What the heck? You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyways? Oh, sure. What the heck? I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. Do you understand me? Oh, sure. What the heck? Month X. Day X. Cloudy, I got on a train today. And on that train, you looked! Even though I told you not to. Now see what happens. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this a boss fight? An insta-kill? Well, at least I got to look at the book. I didn't get to see anything interesting in there because freaking asshole, you know, kills me right away. Did you find my diary? Here it is. Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your blanket is right here. Yay! If you read it, you might be a spirit like me right now, but now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Sayonara! Hope you enjoy hell for killing me! Wait, what? Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great, maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever so, that's all there it is there is to it. Hoo 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 hoo. Well now that we got the blanket, we can finally give it to that guy, and then he will uh give us shell earrings. And then from the shell earrings we'll give it to her, and then she'll give us a gold ring, and then we give the gold ring to her, uh, to the other lady, the mademoiselle, and then we we win the game. We just finish the game. We don't even fight Bowser or anything, we just win the game. Oh my god, this level is just tedious though, seriously. Ah, so much backtracking left, right, left, right, left, right, just like the rest of the game. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Here's your blanket. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture on my things. Okay, it's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should sleep for the night. Well, if you say so, I guess I will sleep for the night. Yeah, let's leave everything else to the conductor and get some shut-eye. Okay, Mario? Okay, all right. And now we rest. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Never mind, it's morning again. Train voyage, day two. How many days are there going to be? So, what's the first thing we do? I think we should go to conductor. Good morning, to Do you sleep well? We will make a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Well, thank you. Is that the place I'm supposed to be going to? Or, I don't think so. Is this just going to be a regular stop? Well, alright then. Do I have to talk to this dude over here? Maybe this is who I'm supposed to talk to. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during and I will be stopping rivers. Oh my god. Well, I guess we got to start talking to everyone. Are you still? Are you guys still arguing? Oh no, you guys calm down. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. Oh, it's because it's not his birthday anymore. Talk in the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us had our arguing worse yesterday. I feel really shamed. Little Bub sure has been in high spirits since sister. I wonder why he's so happy. Maybe if you actually gave him some attention, you would know. What about in this room? Nope, there's nothing in there. Maybe it's another ghost. What about in here? Wait, no, the hamster wasn't there. Oh, hello, there's the hamster. What are you guys talking about? Ah, oh, my dear Lu it's Mario! Your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product, Prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. What's the Prototype? Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold... Seashell. Seashell earrings! And a bit of gold... GOLD RING! Ooh, it all makes sense now! Well then, the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. It all makes sense now. <gasps> Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Yep. Though you definitely had it yesterday, hmm? And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train! 
Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in the cabin too? Yep. They both have lost something on the train. The waitress lost shell earrings and the lost gold ring. The same person stole these all. Okay, I get it. We must find. Okay. I guess we gotta go searching again. I freaking love this chapter so very much with the very intriguing mystery on it. Oh boy, I fucking love this shit. Well, honestly, I'm just gonna go back to room three because that's the only play room that has a serious fat ass who would probably steal honey. So let's talk to him. Hey, morning Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet? I still can't believe I stole that part of the stew. Or a pot of stew. It was like a bad chattery nightmare, but thanks to that answer. Well, that's not the case then. I don't know. I guess we gotta search every single room again. Every room. Lovely. Well, she wouldn't have it. She lost her ring. So let's cut it. Oh, what the hell? Sorry, guys. I was on a phone call, so I had to, like, quickly. Pro it's probably gonna look really shitty with the editing, but. Hey, look, a paper. A vital paper. Well, let's read it, I guess. Read the vital paper. Can I read it? I can't read it. If I can't read it, where do I go? Conductor? Conductor. Detective! Detective! That's where I go. Alright, we're finally here. Let's talk to the detective. He'll read it, because we apparently are illiterate. Have you stumbled upon- Here's the- Here it is. What is this paper? What sort of clue is it supposed to be? Ah, that's one of my contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Yeah, Zip Toad's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Well, then perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toe. Oh my god! Did Nintendo really think that this chapter was going to be fun? Oh my god! This is the worst chapter in the game! Followed by chapter... 4! If that's the one that's the Twilight Town. God damn it! Oh hey look, another piece of paper! Could this be another clue? The document is totally like the other one. The substance must be in here somewhere. In here? If they're in here... I guess we gotta use... Her. Come on. Yes? No? Oh! Found you! You are caught! Zao, where do you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy! Really? Really? This is gonna game- There, I got you. God damn it, you asshole. Fuck you. Sad thing is, that was probably the, one of the most fun parts of the game, and it was too short. So this was our man, all along, pretending to be zip toed I see. All the while pif uh, pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just what I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses, I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station 2. Yes, you played a daring and genius little game, my false friend, but the jig is up now. Fiend and the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large tra brain. Aha, uh -huh, well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Blech. Briefcase. Gold ring. Shell earrings. Ah, my pressure briefcase is not natural. There you go. The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, the stars. Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by most rudimentary deductions. Bing, bong, bong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Everything's fine. Okay. I guess there was no, I guess there wasn't going to be a boss battle on the train. I still have to return the earrings as well as... You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Bell Dam will flip if I... Bell Dam? <gasps> it's Bell Dam? Holy shit, it's you. This whole zip -toe thing was just a mean to an end. It's me, sucker. Stupidless. Bell Dam's plan to goof... Gooify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest of Bell Dime. See ya, suckers. Well, god damn it. You guys are so good at capturing people. God. God! Everyone's an idiot except for me. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna have to return the earrings now. Boop. Or the ring. You were in this room, right? There you are. Yep, here's your gold ring. 
Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you. Okay. Yay, 30 coins. Yay, I am so fucking rich now. Huzzah. Hello, Missy. Here is your earrings. Yep, there they are. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, before I take this as well, thank you. Yay, star piece. That's nicer. Okay, well, now that we are actually stopped, I guess I can finally leave the train. So that's the best thing to do, especially since there actually seem to be a lot of stuff outside of the train. Now that we actually finally exited it from there, let us continue on over here here to the save point because I am going to end the game now all right so anyways guys if you like this episode be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave a comment and I'll see you guys in another episode bye bye everybody love you all